Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, eLearning Arena. I'm your host, Process Engineer Sayyid Vakas Heather. So in today's video, I am going to design a compressor using Pipe Flow Advantage. Pipe Flow Advantage is a very useful uh, software for hydraulics calculation. So let's start. So first of all, I am going to select a compressor from the menu then a pressure boundary on the left hand side of the compressor and a flow demand on the right hand side so it is a very simple circuit now I am going to select a compressible pipe and join these all components using compressible pipe not a simple pipe so whenever uh, whenever there is a compressible fluid in your uh, circuit you should use a compressible pipe so as our circuit contains a compressor and uh, the compressor would significantly change the pressure of our fluid so we have to use compressible pipe this pipe this pipe would be used for circuits for hydraulic calculation where the fluid pressure would not change significantly so compressible pipe would be used because this is because the fluid would be compressible one then we have to uh, specify the fluid zones and as uh, there is a compressor would, would, which would change the pressure of the fluid significantly so before compressor we have to specify a different uh, fluid zone and after uh, the compressor with different conditions obviously the pressure would change after the compressor so let's go to the fluid zones and create a new fluid zone there are already built-in fluid zones so I'm not going to use these zones I am going to create a new zone so, so first of all there would be a first fluid zone with, with this zone would be used before compressor so air air dry let's assume that the temperature of this air would be 90 degree Fahrenheit and a pressure of 40 psig and then we create a new fluid zone compressed air this this fluid zone would be used after the compressor So temperature would remain the same but the pressure would be changed. So we have two, uh, sorry we can change the name of this as compressed air. So we have, now we have two fluid zones, air and compressed air. So let's specify the conditions, first of all the pressure boundary let's assume that its elevation is at zero and the operation would be pressure let's assume that it has a 40 degree psig then specify the compressible pipe number one and this pipe would would contain the fluid zone air specification you can select the built-in uh, specification i am going to select an SS of 40 pipe and the pipe size would I would choose as 2 inch a 3 feet length and that's it then I'm going to compressor this would be an air compressor elevation let's assume it has 1 feet elevation and operation you can select the operation uh, of the compressor you can size the compressor on the basis of these different available uh, specifications you can specify the flow rate or fixed speed discharge pressure suction pressure differential pressure or fixed pressure ratio. so I am going to select discharge pressure 
and I'm specifying that this compressor should be able to discharge the fluid at 88 PSIG and then compressible pipe 2 now this compressible pipe would use the fluid zone of compressed air let's assume that this pipe would be 10 feet long and you can select the fittings let's assume that this pipe has two 90 degree bends and that's it now we have to specify the flow demand let's assume that it is kg per second 0 0.05 and elevation of two, 2 feet and that's it now all the data is black this means that everything is set we have to hit the calculate button and and this and and our simulation is successfully completed you can see the results from going to print section and print our list report so here is the detail results of this simulation you can enter the uh, compressible compressors performance curve so let's uh, use that uh, Oh, let's use that property so you can enter the uh, if you have performance curve you can enter the performance curve uh, which, which is given by the manufacturer so let's assume that we have a manufacturer's uh, performance curve of the compressor so you can enter the data provided by a manufacturer to simulate and design the compressor so you you would add the pressure test speed and then the mass flow I have extracted the information given in this performance curve to an excel file and I can select all those numbers and extract it here So that's it. Now we again can go to the results, and these are the results. So that's all from today. So this is how you uh, you can size or design a compressor using pipe flow. So I hope you uh, like this video. And if you like this video, please uh, share this to your uh, contacts and uh, subscribe my channel. Thank you very much.